Lost City Quest, Quest Requirements, 31 Crafting, and 36 Flip Cutting. It is boostable and ability to kill a level 101. Items Requirements is a knife and a wood cutting axe. And the quest start is at 2 minutes and 26 seconds. Wood cutting axe is to spawn the leprechaun in the beginning. Then you're going to have to deposit your axe. And then when you get into the caves, you will have to kill a zombie to get another axe. The quest start is to speak to the warrior to south and east of Draenor village. Then you're going to make your way to the boat on Port Serum as shown and talk to the guy there. So once you make it to Intrana, follow the port to the left, and then turn to the right, go through the church, and then cross the bridge, go to the right and left, and then talk to the guy, and he will lead you into the cave. Once you get into the cave, kill a zombie, get to the axe, kill the tree spirit, and then make your way to Lumbridge. Once you teleport to Lumbridge, you're going to make your way to the Lumbridge swamp, so turn to the right, go through the graveyard, and head to the swamp and then there's going to be a little shack so you're going to want to use your Draymond staff on the door and once you use it on the door the quest is completed hey everyone welcome back to another video today we are doing the lost city quest hope you're all doing amazing we are just south of Draenor village and we have to talk to the warrior inside this camp so let's go ahead and do so uh we're gonna go over here and speak to the warrior click the first option click the first option again the first option again and we're gonna click the second option and now we have to talk to the leprechaun that knows how to find the lost city so this is the time where we grab our axe and we're gonna hit uh, this tree or the tree beside it. So, give me, no, not this tree, the one beside it. So, the one over here. Once you hit this tree, the uh, leprechaun should appear. Let's get to the dialogue. Second option. And I need to enter a shed with a Draymond staff. So now we are going to be heading to Etrana uh, city, our island. So now we're going to have to go to Port Serum. Now you can't bring any weapons, so I'm going to have to deposit my axe. So we're just going to head to the bank. You are allowed. You are allowed to have bring food. You're allowed to bring some jewelry, uh, and you can bring some runes. I'm bringing some fire spells because you have to fight a level 100. Which I'll be using fire bolt. Also, you will have to be killing uh, a zombie for an axe because uh, you can't break one there, but there is a cave where you can kill a zombie to get an axe, and then you have to use the axe on the tree to uh, for the tree spirit to respawn, and then you have to use the axe to get the thing to make the Draymond staff. So once you're here at Port Serum, let's go over here to the boat that's the boat that's right here and talk to the guy now I thought I could bring some robes and a uh, mage hat but I was unfortunately unable to If you have uh, brought some stuff, you have to just go right here and you can deposit all the 
robes and a hat. I thought maybe that was just, just the robes because my robes were Zamorak robes, but he still didn't like it. <laughs> so then you're just gonna have to put the hat away. So just don't bring any armor with you. And that's gonna talk to him once again. And if you are ready, then he will just let you go. And now it's sort of here. So now we're gonna have to go to the cave. Follow this path. I did get kind of lost, but you just you just go right through the you just go right through the uh, church. Go around the uh, altar, and then we're gonna make a left, cross the bridge, and then we're gonna make a left. I'm gonna head to the dungeon sign on the map. And we're gonna talk to the guy that is there. Click the second option. And now that we are allowed to go and kill a zombie, so let's go and kill a zombie. Which is just further into this cave. Right here. You're gonna see me skip because I've went on the head by an accident and without killing one. So if you're using magic, you gotta activate the fire bolt and you gotta get close to the zombie. And now I'm gonna be killing the level, the 20, level 25 zombie. If you get the axe, you can skip ahead until I get my own. My magic is only, uh, of all 40. And we killed one so far, but we did not get our the axe, so we have to kill another one. Uh, we still didn't get one, we got fish bait instead, but we have to kill another, another one again. And I got, I got my bronze axe. So now we can move forward. So once you got your axe, just go through this, go through further to the cave, but make a right past the lesser demons to this tree over here. And we're gonna right click on the tree and that will summon the tree spirit. So we will have to activate our fire bolt. And let's kill the tree spirit. I'm just gonna run around a little bit and just uh, get some damage on it. Play something around the rosy. <laughs> food we got this guys
And once you kill the tree spirit, we're going to use the axe on the tree. So I'm going to take my axe and use it on the tree. And now we got the uh, Draymond Bark. So now we have to use the knife on the Draymond Bark to make Draymond Staff. And now we're going to do Slash Home to, look, to go our make ourselves go to Lumbridge. Because that is the quickest way to finish the quest. Okay, so once you're at Lumbridge, we're going to make our way to the graveyard to make right. Our location is not to the graveyard, it's just to the swamp, but make it left. Go around the graves and then exit the graveyard and we're going to make a right to the cabin inside the swamp. Uh, you're gonna make your you're gonna want to right click on the door. You can't just enter it <laughs> like I do for a quick second. I was like, I walk in. I thought I was gonna get teleported. I was like, uh, do I have to right click the freaking air? No, you have to right click the door. And quest completed. Congratulations, you have finished the Lost City quest. I hope you're all doing amazing. And I hope I've helped you with this quest, and I'll all see you in the next one.